What's up guys? So if you're anything like me and you have a screen that's broken, regardless of how mine wouldn't turn on, the screen had like lines in it, would push the screen around to try and get it to turn back on. It would sometimes, but then ultimately I broke it and now it doesn't turn on at all. This works on any 10th gen Honda Civic sedan with Apple CarPlay. So all you're gonna need is something to pop interior pieces off with so i'm just using this red thing you could also use a flathead screwdriver but i recommend plastic or if you only have a flathead screwdriver get a flathead screwdriver and put some electrical tape on the end with maybe something rubbery just so you don't scratch up your interior pieces and break them and the second thing you're going to need is just a phillips screwdriver a star head and that's it so to start make sure your car is off there's no power to this at all pop the hood Get under here, find your fuse box, and take your fuse thing. You're going to remove the one that says audio. So, let's take that out. If you turn your car on without this in, the audio will be unpowered entirely. So that's 15A, so we'll just leave that. You can get to popping this one off first, if you have it. So, there's things much. Uh, tug and pull now so you get that corner loose and you can just yank everything out perfect pull that one out at like upward pull don't bend it because you could snap that off and then if you're like me and you have one of these installed you're gonna have to turn the car on move your transmission out of the way unplug it from your car play and just slide the whole thing out mine is 3m tape so it's gonna be a nightmare there we go you're just gonna dig your fingers on both sides and you're just gonna pull and uh, make sure you pull straight and once that's released a little angle to get this screw out there's one it was right there and there's gonna be one on the opposite side as well so you're gonna adjust this thing over out of the way just right there those two screws get those out so next you've got this clip you want to get to you can't actually really reach it because it's blocked so the first thing you're going to do hand here hand here and you're just going to pull the radio outwards should look like this after you get that thing out it is kind of a trick to get out it's double-sided tabs that you have to push and it's really hard to reach back there but once you get that you're gonna unplug these two wires from your screen so there's that one and next we're going for the blue one there we go you should be able to pull the whole screen out now these two it's gonna be on both sides so once you've taken the bolts out of that side and on that side it's the same two bolts next you're just going to pull the screen off basically so put a hand on the computer so you're not tugging wires and this is what it should be pulling off, not the plastic. You're pulling off this. And this is how you're going to find out what exact part you will need to do your screen replacement. I have the 39710 TBA A21. That's what I ordered. This is my broken screen. And you can see that, right? 39710 TBA A21, the one I ordered online. Same exact one. Right back in exactly where it went. Last step first now. Pop it in. Hold it from both edges. Pop in. Now... Go grab your screws that came out of the sides of it originally. Two on each side. Grab your flathead. Move it over. Boom. Grab your other two and move to the other side. Those are in. You can pick up the entire screen. Slide it back in nice and gently. And make sure the wires are hanging. And then on each edge, give it a solid push on each edge. And now it's locked in again. These bolts now, those first two screws that you used your flathead, go in first. Not too tight though. Again, you don't want to strip them. Remember the uh, blue cord went on this side, gray cord on this side. Okay, blue is in, and then go for the gray on the opposite side. They're a little up there, so just boom. Don't force them in if you're not going. They go in smoothly. Boom, just like that. Black clip back in. Now your AC is good to go. And just press that thing back in on both sides. Just, just like the radio, it'll pop in perfectly. The side panels, pretty simple. Okay. Boom. Hand in the center.
boom just like that we're all back together now a fuse isn't in so it's not going to power on yet but i'm turning my car on because i have a center console thing that i like that i added to my car there we go okay now turn the car off again if you did what i just did walk back around under the hood and put the fuse back in so the next step after you've gotten everything back together and you've put the fuse back in the fuse slot where it came from just start the car and uh yeah now your screen should pop on this will pop up after because the radio is disconnected same thing when you get a brand new battery you may have seen this as well but it's just push and hold the power button for like two seconds or whatever okay just hold it you'll hear a beep let go and now it's just doing a uh, GPS satellites thing. So you replace your whole screen, not the computer and the radio itself. All it is is a screen. So it's like a desktop computer with a monitor. You're just replacing the monitor. That's all this was. Now you can do what this says on here. Park the vehicle in an open area away from trees, whatever. Remove loose. You can do that, whatever. I don't really care. I don't listen to this at all. I just wait. Honestly, you can drive it like this. It doesn't matter. This goes away eventually, no matter what. My fiance is going to play some music into it. Everything's back, all good. We're just waiting for this now. It sounds all good, power's all good. If you guys wanna see more how-tos, I do this whole car by myself, all the electricals and everything, all the repairs, all the maintenance I do all by myself. If you guys wanna see more stuff like this, just leave a like on the video and maybe drop a comment, let me know as well. As far as I'm concerned, everything's looking good so far. We're just waiting for that screen to go away. And we are back in business with the screen. Let me know if you guys want to see more how-tos. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.